guys! Recently quite a few of you have been saying that you've been liking my hair and makeup look. <laughs> Obviously not this hair and makeup look, but the look I've been going for in my past few videos, which is kind of like a more natural, minimal makeup, just kind of average. <laughs> and a few people have asked for makeup tutorials and hair tutorials, so I thought today I would make a everyday, lazy makeup kind of get ready with me video. So without further ado, let's go! So the first thing I have been doing when I wake up in the morning is treating my skin. I've found that if you really take care of your skin, your overall makeup look looks a lot nicer. So the product that's been keeping my skin looking nice recently is this. It's from a company called Vanity Planet and it is the Ultimate Skin Spa Facial Brush System. You may have seen products like this. It is a little brush that rotates and cleans your skin basically. It removes all the dirt from your pores, which sounds a little bit gross, but once it's got rid of all the dirt, it helps your skin to absorb your other skincare products, which is absolutely brilliant. So it sort of like enhances the use of any skin products you use. And it actually comes with three different brushes. It has the Daily Cleansing Brush, the silicone brush and the exfoliating brush. Every day I've been using the daily cleansing brush and I found it made such a difference to my skin. It's really, really gentle on the skin, so if you have quite sensitive skin, it will still be fine. And Vanity Planet have actually hooked you up with a really good deal. So using the discount code, which is down in the description, FABH70, you can get 70% off this product. Its usual price is $125. So if my maths is correct, 70% off of that price is $37.50, which translates to £26. So you can get this full system with all three brushes for £26 with that discount code, which is absolutely absolutely amazing. So yeah, get your hands on one of these while the discount code is still valid and you will thank me later. I'm going to move you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm actually doing. Prepare yourself because I look a little bit scary. <laughs> so the next thing I've been doing is moisturising my skin. Every single morning I definitely make sure I have time to moisturise. I use the Garnier Moisture Protect Moisturiser and this absorbs into your skin really quickly which I really really love. You definitely don't need too much of it but it is a glowy moisturiser so it helps your skin glow. I am not a person that can multitask. I am struggling to rub this in and talk at the same time, I'm not gonna lie. My skin's been so good this whole month, then as soon as I wanna film a video with no makeup, my skin just decides to have a breakout and let me down. As I've said, I've been liking the natural makeup look, so I've been using a BB cream rather than a full coverage foundation, and I've been using the Rimmel BB cream in the shade Light. I don't really know why I chose this one over all the other BB creams. To be honest, I think it was the first one I found, but I really like it, so hey ho. I don't use too much of this, but I do make sure I put a little bit on my neck so that it all blends in. I just use my fingers to rub this in because it's just easy, isn't it? So much easier than using a brush. And you've got fingers, might as well use them. Right, now my BB cream is done, it is time to conceal. As you can see, got a little spot right on the end of my nose. Very inconvenient, and I feel a little bit like Rudolph. So to conceal any spots, I use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is a really full coverage concealer, so it's perfect for hiding any little blemishes or general like discoloration of your skin, which I have on my cheeks. Lucky little me. Also, this is from my straighteners. So this is one of those really annoying spots where no matter how much concealer you try to put on it, it just, it just wants to make an appearance on your face. It is like that annoying child in your class who never has a pen, who always shouts out and who always wants attention. This spot is the equivalent of that child. Right, to conceal under my eyes, I actually use a different concealer because that one is quite full coverage. I find that it can go a bit cakey. So under my eyes, I use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. This is the shade Ivory because as you can see, I'm very pale. That's okay, we can, we can work with it. That's what bronzer's for. Am I right? Now I'm going to bronze so that I look less ghostly. So the bronzer I use is the MAC Bronzing Powder in the shade Matte Bronze. And when I'm putting it all over my face, I use the Real Techniques Powder Brush. And then, this is like my favorite part of doing my makeup because I feel like it can be really reckless and as long as it's even, it doesn't matter. Also on camera, it looks like it's not making a difference at all, but 
In real life, I can assure you, it makes me look less dead. Also remember to put this on your neck if you're using bronzer because otherwise you're gonna look a little bit funny. It's gonna look like you've been wearing roll necks in the summer. Right, then I'm using the same, whoa. Oh, I just digged my nail in it. That is so annoying. So now I'm gonna use the same bronzer to contour and I've switched to the Real Techniques 103 Bold Metals brush. So dab it in, then suck your cheeks in like a little fishy. Voila, a cheekbone. <laughs> if I'm feeling a little bit risque or I've got a little bit more time on my hands, maybe I didn't get up as late as usual, I will use a little bit of blusher. So this one is the MAC Stay Pretty blusher and I use the Real Techniques 300 Bold Metals brush. Just take a little bit of that, you literally only need a tiny bit. <sighs> Everyone else does that so I do it too. <laughs> and then I just put this on the apples of my cheeks. Wow, that made such a difference. Eyebrows are the next step. So I take this brush, which is the Real Techniques brow brush, along with this. It's a little thing, you know, looks like a bit like a mascara thing. And I got this when I was about six, I think, to be honest. I've had it for ages, but you know, it still works. So I'm yet to buy one that looks more <laughs> grown up. <laughs> so I just comb through my eyebrows. Then I use the MAC, Oh, all the writing has rubbed off of this. I think it's just the MAC Brow Pencil in the shade Fling. I remember that. So I just outline the shape of my brows with this. I really hope I'm gonna have a good brow day today. Right, now let's see how the other one goes. Wish me luck. Do you know what? That'll do. Then I fill in my brows with the Collection Work The Colour Eyebrow Kit. This is the blonde one, because I am blonde. And I use the lightest shade from this. Not sure how this classifies as blonde. Take a little bit of that, do a little bit of this. And then I take the clear brow gel, which was clear when I got it, from the same eyebrow kit and just comb through my brows to keep them in place. Then from the Naked palette, I take the shade Virgin and put this, it's this lightest one, put this under my eyebrows to enhance the highlighted brow bone. So the next step is curling my eyelashes. I always curl my lashes, it takes literally like 10 seconds and it makes such a difference to the appearance of your lashes. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend. This looks so freaky. Like when did we decide as a society that using a metal contraption this close to your eyeball was a good idea. The mascara I used is the 17 Falsify HD mascara. This is the only mascara I've used for quite a long time now because it's the one I like the best and I literally just beep 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 beep. The contraption is back. Now I'll let them dry a little bit. And then do the second coat. The second coat really does make a difference with this mascara. I don't know why, but it really sort of adds a little final touch. If I've not been in focus the whole time, I'm gonna be really annoyed when I watch this back. So as you can see, this is with two coats and this is with one coat, so it really does make a difference. There we go, eyes are done. I'm not gonna use any eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything like that because if I'm having a lazy day, I won't do any of that. And the final step is to powder. So to powder my skin, I use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Light. And again, I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques powder brush. Dab it in, do the thing, and put this all over my face. I have quite oily skin, so I use quite a lot of powder, but if your skin isn't that oily, then Obviously you don't need as much powder. Obvious facts with Hannah. I'm gonna try again to conceal this spot because it's really bothering me. Much better. <laughs> um, for my concealer, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this, I use the Real Techniques contour brush. Oh, it's still there, go away. I think that's gonna have to do. So this has been the makeup, oh, hang on, I'm not finished, I haven't done lipstick. <laughs> and I haven't used this. So then the next thing I use is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus spray and hold it about there, maybe, I don't know, and just spray. And recently I've been wearing this lipstick a lot. My face now looks really, really glowy because it's wet. And this lipstick is Honey Love by MAC. And voila, my face is still wet, that's why I look shiny. So this is my natural makeup look. As you can see, 
it's very natural, it looks like I'm not really wearing anything. So I suppose you could argue that that was all a massive waste of time, but on the other hand, it's very sort of like minimalistic. So that is how I achieve the makeup look I've been going for. Now recently I've been having my hair curled quite a lot, not sure why, I'm not that great at curling my hair, it doesn't even really suit me that much, but I've been wearing it a lot anyway. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to hair and I'll show you how I curl my hair. Righty ho, so the waving wand I use is the Babyliss waving wand, I think that's just all it's called. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if I can, but what I really like about this is that it's oval shaped, so as you can see, it's not circle. So first of all, just brush through my hair and then I will just split my hair in half and clip up the top half to keep it out of the way. Brush through the bottom half again. I don't know why I'm doing like a running commentary on this. You can see what I'm doing. But anyway, the next thing I'm gonna do is use the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray because I don't want my hair to be damaged. But next thing I'm gonna do, grab my little glove. People laugh at me for using the glove, but if I don't use the glove, then I burn myself. So who is the real winner here? And then I just start at the back and then I will just hold it and the wire just goes all over my face. <laughs> Ow! Burnt myself. Curls look really gross at first before you brush through them. So don't click off of this video before I've brushed out the curls, for God's sake, because otherwise you're gonna be like, ugh. Her hair looks disgusting. How do people curl their hair on camera and make it look elegant? Like, I just don't get it. Like, I've got a wire coming down. Ow! There's another vile looking curl. Never fear, it will look nice eventually. It's like a little caterpillar gonna turn into a butterfly. Also, it's probably not a great idea to use a viewfinder as your mirror. <laughs> Ow! It probably takes me about 15 minutes to do my whole head. And then the front bits of hair I always curl away from my face because it's a lot more flattering apparently. Ow. Cut me with my glove, I look like an inspector or something. You've just got to be ruthless when you're going for the messy curls look. Or if you're not going for the messy curls look and it turns out messy, just pretend you were going for the messy curls look, do you know what I mean? Let your hair down. And I put my inspector glove back on. I think that will do for the curls and now it's had a little bit of time to cool down as well. So now I'm going to brush through it. Then I tend to just like zhuzh it up a little bit at the top so it doesn't look so flat. And you just got to sort of like play around with it until you like it. And there we have it. I think that will do for today. So now I'm going to move on to outfit. There's been one particular outfit that I've been wearing all the time recently. I'm the kind of person that once they find an outfit they like, they just wear it non-stop. So this is that outfit for me at the minute. So there we have it. That is my get ready with me for my everyday kind of look. Don't forget to get your hands on one of these. It is an amazing offer for an amazing product and I would definitely recommend it if you're hoping to clear up your skin and just generally feel a little bit nicer in yourself. I really did enjoy filming this video, so if you enjoyed watching it, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope I've answered many of your questions about my recent hair and makeup look. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again next Thursday. Bye.